Hello, everyone. I am Jessica Koch, and this is another interview on Profound Professional Series. And today's Profound Professional is Sandy Patterson. Uh, Sandy Patterson is a real estate agent with Taylor Properties, and we are featuring her today because of not just her experience in our industry, but some of the amazing things she touches lives in our community and in our world at large. So thank you for being with me today, Sandy, and sharing a little bit about yourself. So tell us a little bit about you. Well, first off, thank you for having me, Jessica. It means a lot um, that you're giving me the opportunity and the fact that my brokerage is giving me the opportunity to have this interview with you. So I thank Taylor Properties, we'll shout out to them. Um, so my journey, um, I actually started in marketing out of, I went to University of Delaware, graduate, graduated with an advertising degree and a minor in photography. Are you from uh, Delaware or are you from No, I grew up in Maryland, uh, Baltimore County. So um, Delaware was highly recommended um, by actually some of the people that I went to high school with and I loved it, amazing university. Um, I got a major and a minor in four years. I kicked some butt. Um, so, uh, and I love photography. So that's sort of a little plug for why I kind of like real estate. <laughs> but uh, so I did advertising and marketing for 20 years. And when we, my husband, I met my husband, we uh, moved and had orders to Virginia Beach. So um, what branch of the service, can I ask? Is your husband? Uh, he's Navy. Huh? My dad was Navy. I was a Navy brat. Okay. So, you know, it's, we're all part of the same, you know, military family. So thank your dad for his service as well. Actually, we all serve as I tell my husband, you know, Absolutely. everybody involved in the family serves. It's not just the, the actual active duty, um, you know, vet. Um, it's actually the family as well serves. And sometimes it's even harder on them because you're home, you know, trying to take care of everything um, while they're away. So shout out to my all our military families and thank you to them for all their service um, as well. My son is active duty army right now. He's actually stationed overseas. Um, he's with the a special ops team. He just got his airborne certification. So we're, um, we're hoping to have him home by Christmas. So yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, thank him for his service. Um, it takes a special person to be able to do that job. Um, as well as our other heroes out there that are local here, you know, which is our police, our fire teachers, you know, our healthcare workers, what they do is amazing. It takes a special person to volunteer either volunteer a lot of our firefighters here locally in Maryland are volunteers so to volunteer um, it just to me blows me away what they do and what they encounter each and every day so definitely want to thank all of them for for their service um, but so you know I did 20 years of marketing advertising we got deployed um, to or new orders um, change of station to Virginia Beach um, decided that you know, I was kind of my last advertising marketing jobs here locally, I freelance. So I worked from home. So I had the benefit of, you know, kind of making my own schedules, which is kind of nice with real estate. Um, you can kind of make your own schedules, um, you know, based on what's going on in your life. Um, so I decided at that time that it was time for a change of career, try to do something different. And I really enjoyed the process of looking for houses. Um, you know, my realtor down in, in Virginia Beach is actually a good friend of mine now. Um, so I interviewed her. I was like, tell me the good, the bad, and the ugly with real estate. Do I want to really get into it? Um, so after us having lunch, I decided, you know what, I'm going to try this. And it's been now six years. So, you know, there's oh. in any business, there's, you know, there's highs, there's lows, you know, it's just, it's just life, you know, it's not always, grass is always greener on the other side. Um, the pros, when the pros outweigh the cons, you know it's a good career and a good career path. And I think me marrying my Homes for Heroes program with real estate really makes it my why and why I do it because I give back through this program. Um, not yeah, only do I give us more about like the whole homes for hero thing. So that is part of what makes you exceptionally profound. And um, so tell us about that program. 
So Homes for Heroes was started after 9-11 by a real estate brokerage up in Minnesota as a way to give back to our local heroes when they're buying or selling their home. So they get significant rewards um, on the sales side. The listing agent discounts their services 25% um, and also gives up 5% at closing that goes to Homes for Heroes to help run the program and help heroes in need nationwide. On the buying side, the hero um, gets basically 25% back in a check two weeks after closing. And in addition to the realtor, because the realtor gives the most, they give up 30% of their commission. That comes out at closing. It gets mailed to Homes for Heroes on the buy side. And then the hero actually physically gets a check back as, after closing as a thank you for their service. Um, in addition to that, the lender gives back. Um, the title company discounts their services. little shout out to Heritage Title, which is um, – a partner with Taylor Properties. They give back um, on each hero closing that I do with them. Um, and then my home inspectors are actually firefighters. So they're heroes and they give back. They discount their services 10%. So everybody gives back in the transaction. And I want to just brag a little because my team and I, I had to go, I ran the numbers. Um, Yay. This, since I've been in Maryland, I don't know if you can see this or not. I can. It's awesome. Since I've moved back to Maryland, this is Raise how much we see it. And move to the left. There you go. So what is the total? So it the is $255,628.32. Amazing. That is how many rewards we've given back since I've been back in Maryland from, you know. And, and being with a brokerage like Taylor, where you're able to keep more of your commission as an individual allows you the freedom to decide where some of that percentage goes, where if you were with another brokerage and they were taking that chunk up front, it would be very difficult to make that sacrifice and still be able to take care of your family. So this really gives you a, a way and a vehicle and a resource to use to, to do what makes your heart sing. Exactly. And that's why I've picked Taylor because of that rate, that exact reason, because they let me run the program. I'm able to actually afford to give back through their, you know, cause they're a hundred percent brokerage. If you use, they have a couple of different plans. They have the hundred percent, they have the 80%. It just depends on which way you want to go. Um, but I, I, I mean, I can't speak highly enough about Taylor and how supportive they've been to me in the process. They've tried to help me recruit other agents for my team, um, which is a challenge. So I obviously, I want to put a little shout out that, you know, I'm looking to recruit agents that, that are hard workers, the right agent, right? Someone right. That are hard workers and their heart is in the right place. They want to give back. There's not many agents, unfortunately, out there that are willing to give up 30% of their commission in the transaction, but it's just a different mindset. It's, you have to think about not what I'm giving up, but what's coming back and what's going out. What you're, but what you're giving to heroes, it's like my, my why is, you know, one day when I'm on my deathbed and I'm like, okay, did I live my life to the fullest? Did I do, did I help people along the way? Now, now marketing was great. I did that for 20 years, but I wasn't really giving back. I wanted to do something that gave back and just doing traditional real estate. You know, you're helping people buy homes, but you're not really giving back. Right. You know, so this adds that element. Um, that is my why that's, that's why I do what I do. And, um, and I love it. I mean, we do events where, you know, we'll bring pizzas, we'll bring subs, we'll bring food to police stations, to fire departments, just to thank them for their service. I mean, we're here to help support them. They have events. We'd love um, to be there, volunteer, myself and my team. So if any heroes are listening and you have any upcoming events, we would love to volunteer and help. You know, we're based out of Annapolis. So obviously within within distance, right? Within an hour, we can kind of sort of navigate. If not, we can put you in touch with some other hero groups that might be closer to where, where your group is and that could come out and support. Program, right. This is a national program. Yes. It's a national program. Um, so you might know of a hero that's in another state that could benefit from the program. All they have to do is go to homespheres.com, type in the zip code they're looking to buy or sell in and an affiliate will reach out to them. They'll get assigned a lender and a realtor, um, and they were required to call within 24 hours. Um, so 
And what's great about our lenders too is they'll work with them to get, you know, maybe they, maybe they need some credit repair. They'll work with them until you know, we can get them to a place to be able to buy or sell. Uh, one extra bonus about this program is in certain cases, like it's a, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, we can use that hero benefit during the transaction. I've actually helped to hear a teacher hero buy this year because we use the hero transaction during, you know, to help her with her closing costs. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really rewarding. It was otherwise she wouldn't be able to buy the home. So yeah, the list of what's considered a hero again, we know the military and what else? So military, police, uh -huh. fire, uh -huh. EMTs, anybody who's in the healthcare industry. So um, and doctors or yep nurses doctors um you know somebody like a you know a like a uh, just even and things I'm, like I'm sorry physical therapists and nurses yes, anybody who's in healthcare, anything related to your health and improving your health mm -hmm. um i'm a believer that if even if you were here once in your life you're always a hero so let's say you were a firefighter for four or five years and now you're retired you're doing something else you still are here you still served your local communities and you deserve that benefit in my opinion that's nice that's nice so you have become um a really uh person to and in, in my opinion to admire and look up to and even be a mentor do you have some mentors in your life or um uh, books or quotes or things you'd love to share uh with us that Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, with relate related to real estate, right? There is a amazing, um, a pro, you know, he is a motivational speaker. He is a teacher. His name is Brian Buffini. Um, his training is amazing. I mean, when I first got into real estate, I chose the brokerage in Virginia Beach because of him. And if you ever get a chance, Google him but he's all about working by referral. So it's a different way of approaching your business. You're not cold calling, you're not doing scripts. You're working by your own network and your own referral. And wouldn't you rather work with somebody that's been referred to you or somebody who somebody knew versus a yeah. complete stranger that you've cold call on the phone? Um, and you pride yourself in, if you get a referral from someone you've worked with, I mean, it's, it's, it gives you extra warm and fuzzy. Um, I'm working with a few now and it just makes you feel really good that you've done a good job for, for whoever referred you that they're willing to pass along someone to you. Um, yeah, so he's great. Yeah. Yeah. So he's really great from a standpoint from real estate. Um, a quote I have on my computer that I've had for a really long time is Vince Lombardi. So it's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get back up right? And you, you dust yourself off, you know, because that's just life. Yeah. There's going to be highs and lows. There's going to be doors slammed in your face. There's going to be, you know, but I'm a believer and everything in life happens for a reason. And if one door is closed, another one will be open and it'll be unexpected. And, you know, that would, that'll be your path for however long until it's time for a change. So, um, he's really amazing. I don't know if you got a chance to watch the ESPYs, um, that we're on, but talk about someone that can inspire. Um, Rob Mendez, I don't know if you saw it or not, but hands no, but I have heard people talking he, about it. So he was born with no arms and no legs, and this man, it just, it's just amazing to me how he's now coaching. He got so many doors slammed in his face. I mean, his support group from his family to just what he's not given up. He's like, I want to coach. This is my passion. I want to give back. And it's just, it sends chills kind of through your, you know, through your body. But I, I just was very moved watching that the other night. And it just makes you stop and realize that, you know, you're going to complain about an ache and pain, right? Know, right? This, <laughs> this man is, you know, he has no yeah. arms and legs. I'm like, how is he doing this? Yeah, I know. God bless him. And he's a real inspiration. Um, yeah. Well, I really appreciate you sharing some time and having a chance to get to know you. Uh, I think what you're doing is amazing and we appreciate it so much. Before we say goodbye to everyone, is there one last thing or anything else you can think of you'd love to share or? Um, that if you are looking for a brokerage that, you know, is 
behind you 100% and and can give you 100% commission. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's definitely Taylor Properties in the family there. They've been really wonderful and supportive to me. So uh, God bless them and, uh, and God bless our heroes. And I thank them for what they do each and every day because it does take a special person to do that, do each and one of those jobs that are out there. For sure. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, we will ask you to please comment, like, and share uh, with others, especially if you know anyone in any of these industries. You know, it occurred to me, there could be someone working in the kitchen of a nursing home or an assistant living place or, or cleaning the rooms or supporting them in some way, and, and they could not even realize that they might have the opportunity to be a hero. You know, it's so interesting that you're touching so many of these different uh, um, industries, not just the military. I mean, the military is wonderful. I grew up in all of that. Right, absolutely. And, you know, the firefighters and the police, but when you get into the medical and the teachers and and the people supporting the school systems, uh, that's a that's a big deal for them and can be life changing. So thank you for what you do. Thank Again, you. Like, share, and uh, <laughs> comment, and have a fantastic day. Until the next uh, profound professional interviews. Thanks so much for being with us, Sandy. Thank you so much, Jessica, for having me. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.